in this exercise we will be inflating the data from the select query into the table view so i need to create where i need to create persons as a global array which holds person model i need to create table of person which is of type ui table view there now whenever you use ui table view you need to confirm ui table view delegate UI table view data source and we know UI table view data source is a formal protocol so we need to implement two of its method so we implement this two of this method in my controller class and I'll call person directly I'll comment the delete and I'll also command the for loop. I don't want to see the output on the console. I want to see output inside my table. So number of object in the person will be number of rows. You will be creating cell of type UI table view. Cell. We'll say cell table of person DQ with reusable identifier say person as UI table view cell it will say return cell If cell is equal to equal to nil, you will create the cell saying cell UI table view cell initialize with style or subtitle. We'll be using this time subtitle and using the same identifier. So now I'll extract the person from the By using index path dot row as person model I'll say cell dot text label dot text equal to person dot p name cell dot detail text label dot text equal to in double quote I'll say percent dot PID because you want to convert your int into the string now when I run this app it won't give you an output because I didn't create the table view so let it run but there's no output okay because table view is not created so you say table of person equal to UI table view frame C direct make 10 comma 10 300 comma 400 table of person dot delegate equal to self table of person dot data source equal to self and cell dot view and sub view table of person so now when you run this app your model arrived from the provider which is singleton and then you inflate your table so you are following the same MVC see so it came now in next exercise we will be creating a button on a top right navigation bar which will take you to the new screen where we will be having small form where we will be inserting the data which will get reflected in your table view so like a detail screen which helps you to insert some data which gets reflected on your main table screen.